I speak to so many men every day and their heart is broken. And they say to me, Tim, how did I do it? How did I neglect my family as long as I did? How did I let it all slip through my fingertips? And then they realize it's because they took it all for granted. And they never truly realized what they had until it was gone. And that doesn't have to be your story. See, a lot of times as a high achieving individual, you're used to being in control of everything in your life. And you're thinking in your mind, like, they'll never leave me. They're financially, you know, they're relying on me financially. No, the reality is, brother, other people are involved in this process. And let me tell you right now, those people have free will. They have independence. They have sovereignty and autonomy in their life to do whatever they want to do. You don't realize what you have. It's slipping directly through your fingers because you're consciously not focusing on this problem inside of your relationship. And the only reason that you chose to not focus on this problem is because you haven't been able to solve it. And the inability to solve it has made you frustrated because you're a problem solver. You're a guy who fixes things, but fixing this is not something that you're used to doing or have been successful in doing because it's not a problem inside your marriage. It's a problem inside of you. So when we change you, we change the man that shows up to the marriage, meaning we change the man that shows up to the conflict. We change the man that shows up to moments of intimacy. We change the man that shows up to those power moments inside his marriage. And those triggers now become opportunities. Let me say that again. Those triggers now become opportunities. The second that you step into the river of change, triggers become opportunities for me to what? Prove to myself who I am and to implement and deploy new techniques, new strategies, and new frameworks that I learn. That's what we do inside the academy. That's what we teach, changing the man. Marriage counseling hasn't worked, why? Because you're talking about surface level issues. And most of the time it only makes it worse. Have you ever known anybody that went to marriage therapy and their marriage got better? because it's not an issue inside your marriage, it's an issue inside of you. But Tim, what about my wife? Guess what? When you learn the skills and tools, guess who you can impart that on? Guess who you can share that with? Because you lead. You lead and you share. But she's not gonna be open and receptive to any of that until you take the lead and take the initiative and take extreme ownership. How is this hard to realize? That if you just raised your hand and said, it's me, it's all my fault because either A, I tolerated it, B, I participated in it, or C, I allowed it. So it is my fault. It's not about taking toxic ownership of what she does. It's about realizing that this is my marriage, so it's my fault. And if you understand leadership, then you understand the power of influence. You're trying to lead your marriage with dominance. Dominance doesn't win, influence does. So if you want triggers to become opportunities, if you want to open the doorway to something new, understand that it all starts with you.